Hey y'all, it's your girl Kimberlyn XO. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure that you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated every time that I post. So today I am bringing you guys this really festive and fun eye look that I got from Swayze Morgan. I've seen this eyeshadow look floating all over Pinterest and Instagram and decided to recreate it myself. And this video will also be a first impressions video because I've gotten so many BoxyCharm subscription boxes that I haven't even used yet. So I'm gonna incorporate some of those products into this video for you guys. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by concealing my eyelids and I'm using the ColourPop No Fridger Concealer and the color Medium Dark 32. And before I blend this out, I'm actually going to add some tape because this eyeshadow look is really sharp and clean and I feel like I'll get the best results if I use a little bit of tape as a guide. Okay, now I'm gonna blend. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little makeup sponge and use my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Setting Spray that I always use to dampen my brushes and my sponges. Now I'm using my Zulu palette by Julius and I'm taking this purple shade right here and I'm just gonna blend that out into my crease. And to blend, I'm using one of the little Luxie brushes that I got out of one of my Boxy Charm subscription boxes. I got this much pigment out of one single sweep of shadow. That's why I'm such a huge fan of Juvia's Place palettes because even though they are kind of on the pricey side. The pigment is amazing, so you definitely get what you pay for with them. And I'm just going to keep building this up on my outer crease. So after taking this purple shade, I'm going to add this really bright neon pink shade a little bit above it and blend those two colors in together. This look today is going to be everything but subtle. I'm gonna go back into that purple shade that I used at the beginning and darken up my inner crease a little bit more with it. So this is how it looks right now with only using two colors. Now I'm gonna be taking my Zodiac Love Signs palette that I got from BH Cosmetics. I just recently purchased both the Zodiac Love Signs and the regular Zodiac palette from them. I went to Ulta and I swatched some of these colors and the payoff was really good. So that's why I purchased these. I know I'm a little bit late, but look how cool this palette looks, you guys. So I am gonna be using the Zodiac Sign Cancer for this look. Before I do that though, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more concealer on my lid. Do a little bit of a cut crease so that this golden pigment really pays off. Now I'm gonna use the Luxie brush set that I got out of another one of my BoxyCharm subscription boxes to apply that Cancer Zodiac Sign Shadow. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that. I'm gonna apply this all over my lid. I didn't even have to wet this brush in order to get this kind of payoff. To think this palette was under $20, Look at that. That is on a dry brush. It's not February, but this color screams Mardi Gras. I'm gonna go back into my Juvia's Place palette and add a little bit more purple into my crease because I blent it out a little bit whenever I added my concealer. Now I'm gonna go into my Color FX palette and I'm taking the shade Sunbeam, which is a beautiful illuminating highlighter here. And I'm gonna apply that to my brow bone, another product that I have not used yet. So this will be the first time that I use this. It's okay, but it's a little bit more pale than I want it to look like. Actually, I'm gonna go into my new Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. It's in the shade Purple Dream. 
And I'm gonna use this one instead. So, it looks gold, but let's see you guys. This one has purple in it also. Now I'm gonna add some eyeliner. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. This looks amazing. Now I'm gonna peel off my tape and start on my face. So the next new product that I'm trying out is the No Pore Bloom Primer by Touch and Soul. I swear this whole entire video is basically BoxyCharm based because I got tired of going out and buying makeup and I get these monthly subscriptions of BoxyCharm and I barely ever use it so I'm really trying out all this stuff today. Um, I think I'll do two pumps. If you guys watch my makeup videos often, you know that I usually use my e.l.f. Poreless Facial Primer as a primer, so... This is something new for me. It has a very light scent to it, and it's kind of tacky, so I'm guessing that my foundation is going to stick to this really well. I do have really oily skin, so I don't know how well my foundation is going to last on top of this, but we'll see. I'm going to take my go-to foundation, which is my Milani Concealer Perfect Foundation in the shade 9 Tan. And I did just get a new makeup sponge. This one is by e.l.f. It's the Total Face Sponge that you can use wet or dry, so I'm going to try this out for the first time today. Still to this day, I've never bought a beauty blender. I feel like they're crazy expensive, and the makeup sponges that I usually use have been working just fine. The only reason I purchased this is because I'm feeling way too lazy to go and actually wash off my sponges that I currently have. This one feels awesome though. It's very squishy. Taking my BH Cosmetics setting spray and dampening up my sponge and I'm gonna blend this out. did a really good job and it didn't even absorb a lot of the product now I'm going to move on to concealing my face I'm taking that same ColourPop no filter concealer I actually believe this color is discontinued I got it a while ago that shows just how much I don't usually wear makeup I barely use it I don't want to use this big ass sponge all over again because it's so big you know what I'm actually trying to use this big ass sponge again I'm going to use a tip of it this time. This sponge is amazing. The other sponges that I have are from e.l.f., but they're much older than this one is. I don't know what kind of material they're using for this, but it is doing a great job at blending. Plus, it was only $4. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to setting my face. I do not use cream or liquid contour anymore. I only use powder contour. I just don't like how harsh it looks whenever I apply a cream or a liquid contour. So I'm going to set my face with the Airspun loose setting powder that I always use. Nothing new about that. And to contour and bronze up my face, I'm using two different shades from Black Radiance Pressed Powders, which are Rich Mahogany and Bronze Glow. Plus these motor brushes that I got out of another BoxyCharm subscription box. This one came with a face brush and a highlighter brush, so I'm definitely going to use a highlighter brush. For right now, I'm taking this tiny BH Cosmetics brush and set my under eye area. Or I'm taking my Moda Cosmetics brush and the shade Bronze Glow by Black Radiance to bronze up my face. Now to contour, I'm using the Black Radiant Setting Powder in the shade Rich Mahogany and another BH Cosmetics brush. Mm -hmm. 
So after contouring and setting my face, I like to move on to blush. So now I'm going to try the Alomar Cosmetics Color Brush Trio Palette that I got. This palette has a beautiful coral shade, a peach shade, and then this mauve pink shade right here. With my eyes, I think I'm going to take this last shade right here and use that as my blush. I think I'm going to make that one dip last for both of my cheeks. And again, I'm going in with the Artist Couture Highlighter. And with this, I'm going to use the Moda Highlighter Brush that came inside of that little brush set. I'm honestly not a huge fan of this brush. It doesn't give me too much control since it's so long and floppy. I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics Highlighter Brush and I'm going to be using the Pretty Vulgar Highlighter for the first time. This one is called Shimmering Swan. Yeah, I like that one. It just melts right on in and add that to the bridge of my nose. I plan on using a nice vibrant blue shade. I'm going back into that same Zulu palette that I used before and I am taking this beautiful teal color and I'm putting that on my bottom lash line. Oh no, I got some on my nose. Now I'm going right up underneath this teal shade with the same purple shade that I started off with from the beginning. And then underneath that purple shade, I'm gonna put some more of that hot pink shade. Now in the inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna be taking my ColourPop Luster Duster Highlighter and the shade Strobe Globe. And the mascara that I'm using is my Manicatera mascara that I got in another BoxyCharm subscription box. So for my lips, I'm using It's My Ray Ray's Rosy Ray Lip Gloss from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to finish everything off with my BH Cosmetics setting spray. So this is my final look you guys, big shout out to Swayze Morgan for actually creating this eye look herself and if you guys have any other video requests feel free to let me know and thanks for watching, bye y'all.